All right, so just earlier today, I picked up this hi-hat stand off Craigslist, uh, mainly because it was cheap and also because I've needed the uh, thumb screw to adjust the tilting mechanism for the hi-hat stand on mine. So I uh, took that off and I'll throw that on mine. Also on mine, the internal spring has seemed to uh, stretched out a bit and there's really no resistance left in it. So I plan to take this one apart and take that and then again, put it in mine and then I'll probably keep this for my gigging stand just uh, keep it in my hardware bag so I don't need to you know move that one I'll just have this one at the ready at all times but I've gotten a lot of questions about how to remove rust and you know pitting from chrome plated hardware so this is a perfect example for me to show you on all right so just to make this easier on me and easier to film I'm gonna take apart what I can Alright, so I got all the pieces that I want to clean up right here, and really all you need is aluminum foil and water. But I don't really like to use water because it's water and these are steel parts, so instead I like to use WD-40. So these wing nuts aren't really that bad, but they could be a little bit more shiny, so I figured I'd do them now since I'm doing the other stuff. So I got my foil, I'll just fold it up a little bit and start scrubbing. So now the base of the stand, this one's probably the worst piece, so I zoomed in close so you can actually see what's happening. Now, in all honesty, if you have a spot where the chrome has, you know, flaked off, like right here, and it's the exposed steel, then you're not going to get it as shiny as the rest of the stand because obviously the chrome was gone. And that's another reason why I said to use WD-40 instead of water because if you get water in there, then the water will, you know, get in there and rust it out even more, but that won't happen with WD-40. So if you see rust on your stand, it's basically too late to fix it. So really this works best with, uh, I guess you wouldn't call this pitting, it's basically just like calcium buildup I guess. You can see on this hi-hat clutch what I mean. But if your stands start to look like this, then this technique works best for getting that kind of stuff off. So yeah, now my stand is all nice and shiny and looks almost brand new. Uh, I guess if you wanted to, you could hit all the chrome parts with like a polishing compound and a buffing wheel. But the aluminum foil and WD-40 alone made it nice and shiny. So yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to check out my drum restoration playlist where I cover some topics on there. Or if there's a topic that I haven't covered and you want to see a video about something, then feel free to leave me a comment about that and I might just make a video about it. 
But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.